dumb. Wait a second. Is he the one that started that musical? Huh. I commend you, sir. I commend you. Hey, what's up, my peoples? Mgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the fans toys Stomp. So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, I would usually take a quick look at the packaging, but since this is a test shot, it didn't come with any official packaging, so, uh, bat clock! Yeah! That, 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 that's all I got. That's all I got. Anyway, moving right along, here we have Stomp, which is a fan's toy's take on a masterpiece sludge, and this is, uh, another piece in their line of not masterpiece, not Dinobots, and, um, uh, yeah, he's, he's pretty cool. <laughs> I do have one major complaint about this toy, but we'll get to that when we get into robot mode. Um, but yeah, he's pretty cool. So we will just get in close here on the head sculpt to take a look at the details here. Nice head sculpt, lots of uh, gold chrome. It's a little bit scuffed up and everything, but then again, there was no official packaging. It was just kind of shipped in a box full of packing, you know, styrofoam peanuts so yeah you got a little scuffed up during shipping but you know that's just the case yours will be properly packaged if you actually buy this so you probably won't have to worry about that but yeah mine's a little scuffed up but that's okay but um yeah uh nice head sculpt right there um got some rivets going down the side of his cheeks there you do have the transclearant plastic right here with the gold chrome underneath which i like i like that effect and lots of nice Mold the details all the way down the neck here. Got a lot of silver chrome right here on his back. And you got a lot of nice molded details down here as well. And some of it is picked out in paint very nicely. And you get some more transclearing plastic with the gold chrome underneath. And right here on the hind legs as well. And a little bit of silver right there. His claws are die cast, which is nice. I'm um, just moving along down the back here. You get some gold right here. This will be his uh, robot mode feet. Get some more transclearing plastic with some molded details underneath that are picked out in paint very nicely. Get some silver chrome right here and a nice silver chromed tail. Shines very nicely. Um, underneath, um, no real gap issues. Everything is pretty well filled in for those who like to display their toys upside down because apparently that's a thing that's important to people. Some wear. I don't know why, but anyway, there you have him. He's just a big old Bronto, and uh, <laughs> very, very cool. Um, Articulation-wise, uh, his head can go up and down on a nice ratchet right there. He can open and close his mouth, and his jaw is also on a ratchet joint. Um, he does have the little, flip this down. Come on, come on, come on. He does have a little, uh, little flamethrower in his mouth right there, which is pretty cool. Uh, the head can rotate up here. can do a full 360. You do have a joint right here with nice range of movement. You do have a joint right here as well for more range of movement. And you have a swivel right here on a nice ratchet, which likes to pop out this little screw hole cover right there. But there you go. And, uh, you know, you can actually, you know, with all the joints in this, it's it's pretty emotive. You can pretty much get them to do whatever you want. You kind of have them, you can pretty much have them, you know, looking back over his shoulder if you want, <laughs> which is pretty cool. So you can get pretty emotive with the head and neck there, which I do like. I do appreciate that. It's not just a static piece like you get with a lot of, uh, with a lot of nut sludges. Um, the front legs... Are on a ratchet, they can do a full 360. They can go out a little bit. You do have a swivel right here. Uh, the knee right here bends both ways. Uh, you do have a joint right here. It doesn't move up, but it'll move down right there. Um, the hind legs are on a ball joint. You can get a little bit of forward and backward movement. You get a little bit 
Very, very slight outward movement. That's pretty much it. It's as far out as it's going to go. And it can do a full 360. You do have a knee joint right here, which again does move both ways. And you have a joint right here that allows the foot to move up and down. He does have a waist joint for some reason. Hey, why not? <laughs> the tail does have some articulation. You do have some wiggle up here and you have some wiggle right there. So get a little emotive with the tail as well. You do have this joint right here that's more for transformation than anything else, but you can still kind of use it if you want to. It's there. Get a tab back in. Oops. Come on. Tab back in. So there you have that. So let's just do this. You know what we gotta do. We gotta bring in the rest of the dinos. We need a group shot. We can finally do it. We can finally get the group shot. Oh, this is exciting. <laughs> I'm happy. I think this made me happier than anything else. That I can finally do this. So here we got Grimlock. We got Swoop up there. We got Slag. Right there. Let's bring this guy in here like this. Get Snarl in here. And here we go. Finally, at long last, we have us a good looking set of Masterpiece Dinobots. I love it. <laughs> I am in love. Right, let me turn Soup a little bit here so you can see him better. Yeah. Yeah! <laughs> oh, that just makes me so happy. It really does. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So you have that. You have that. You have that. There we go. So, yeah. Very cool. Very, very cool. Now, before we get into the accessories that he has for Dino Mode, um, one thing that is included with this figure is uh, replacement plates for, uh, what's his name, Sever. Um, and basically, these are new panels with uh, these extra panels here that will fill in the gap in his underbelly in Dino Mode. So, again, if that was really something that enraged you, hey, look, there's going to be a fix for it now. Um, I am going to do a completely separate video on the installation of these. Um, there should be a link in the description down below if you want to watch that. So, yeah, I'm going to do a whole separate video for that because this involves a lot of unscrewing and rescrewing and all that stuff. And I'm not going to do this right now because, you know, I'll take a lot of time. But, yeah, you do get replacements for sever there with gap filler panels hooray you can display him upside down now because that's important to somebody somewhere for reasons but yeah again link in the description for that video but um as far as stomp goes he does have some accessories for dino mode well some options rather you do get some optional red eyes for him if you want, and swapping out the eyes is very easy. You just come up to his head here, you just remove the top of his head, just like that, it just pegs right on, then you just remove this piece here with the eyes, and then you just replace it with the red ones, pop that back on, and voila, now he has red eyes. So, there you go, it's a nice display option. Um, the other accessory he does come with for his dino mode is one that is just so hilarious, and so stupid, really, that it's it's kind of awesome. He comes with the the the, the googly eyes. He he has the googly eyes, <laughs> and this is basically to replicate the one scene, not even a scene, the one moment in the '86 movie where Devastator hits him with a double axe handle, and he goes down, and his eyes pop up out of his head. This is to recreate that moment in the movie. You can. Yeah, so you can just pop this off. You have to pop the eyes out too. And then this just pops right in in its place. <laughs> yeah, um, now his legs can't spread out. He can't do the full splits like he actually does in the scene, but you can still kind of just, you know, you can splay his legs out still this way. 
and just have him like that. Got to make sure his mouth is all wide open. And you can totally have, you know, your Combiner Wars Devastator. Just, you know, I posted this picture on Twitter. Have Devastator totally just like dropping an elbow on him and his eyes popping out of his head. This Devastator, unfortunately, you can't actually pose him in the, in the double axe handle pose. His joints just don't work that way for that pose. But, you know, you can just have him, you know, dropping an elbow on Sludge there and his eyes popping out of his head. Yeah. It's so stupid. It's so stupid. <laughs> uh, there you have that. Um, one thing that is inaccurate that I will say is that if you actually look up pictures of this moment, um, not only do his eyes pop up, but he does go cross-eyed. So really his pupil should be pointed inward. So that's a bit inaccurate, but you know, whatever. It's, <laughs> it's, it's so stupid anyway, so... Does accuracy really matter at this point when it's this stupid? But hey, it's, you know, it's the masterpiece thing to do to include that one accessory from that one time that that one thing happened. And yeah, that's, yeah. <laughs> the googly eyes. Anyway, I'm going to give him his blue eyes back. There we go. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so... What is left to do now? Okay, I guess we'll just get right down to transformation. So let's get right down to it. So where will we start with? Uh, I always forget where I start. Her. Where do I start? Oh yeah, start with the upper body here. Okay, so we'll start with the upper body. And we will work our way down. Let me raise the camera up a bit so I have room to operate because this guy is pretty large. Whoop. Straight. Straight out. There we go. So, you want to come up here, you want to take the front legs you want to bring them around like this and bring them out and that will give you the room here to get your nails in here to split this open Boop, open that up open that up and then you can take the head here and bring that down and then you can bring the bring the arms up on this hinge right here and that will give you the clearance to bring these wings out the rest of the way and then you can bring that back down and there you go. And then you can open up this panel right here, grab his head, and his head is actually on this double hinge here. So when you pull his head forward, it actually brings forward all of this chest detail right here. And you just bring that down. You can see that detail in there. Some of it's picked out in paint. Some silver, some red, some blue. And you close that up, and there you go. And now, you come back here, take the filler panel, Open that up, fold this down like that, and there's just a little tab that'll go into that slot right in there. Just tab right in there. Same thing over here. Just take that. Oops. Tab that in. Bring that down. Right there. There you have that. And then the whole dino head and neck area, you just take this, bring this down. And then curl this in like that, and all this will just go into this gap in his back, like that. And there you basically got the upper body all done. So now we will move on to the lower body. You want to take the hind legs here. You want to bring them straight back like that. You want to take the claws, fold that in, fold that in, like that. You want to take... The, uh, you want to bend it at the knee all the way as far as it will go. So you have access to this panel right here. And you can open this up like that. And then this swings right into this piece right here. Close that up. And there you go. That's pretty cool how that works. They always, they always find really clever ways to just compress the legs. And uh, that's just, it's, just, it's really clever. So the same thing here. Close that up. Close that. Oops. Did that backwards. You want to actually bring this one claw down first and then the other two. And again, just fold this all the way back. Open up this panel right here. Bring that up. And then just swing that in. Close it back up right there. And there you go. So now, you want to come to these two pieces right here. You see there are these little... Uh, these long tabs that go into the tail. 
You want to pull those up, pull that up, you flip these in, and then you can untab the tail the rest of the way. There are two tabs right there, just tab in right there. So you can bring that all down like that. Then you can split this whole assembly here and bring the legs down like that. And we don't want to show that part off yet. Hey. So now, <clears throat> coming down to his legs, uh, what do we want to do first? I always forget, there's a specific order here. Uh, boy. <laughs> Test shots don't come in instructions, so sometimes I forget the specific order of things because I don't know the specific order of things. But you want to open up this panel right here, and this whole leg assembly is on a double hinge right in here, so you want to take this and just shift it in to the leg like that, and then bring this up, and this will close up around all that. And that's it's a lot more flush as you can see and then you just take this whole assembly here with the tail you just fold it in on itself like that bring this up like that this little tab that will go into the slot right there tab that in you want to take this and just swing it out like that make a swing this into the leg and then the tip of the tail will just fold down oops like that and all that will just sit in the leg kind of sort of and that's my one gripe about this but we'll get a little bit more into detail with that once we get all done here oops i want to make sure this hip is like in the right position there otherwise it'll pop this panel out but we have that and once you've done that you can rotate this at the thigh swivel push the leg up like that and also i keep doing this by accident but you want to take the robot mode hip and you want to bring it up. There actually is a locking mechanism for the hips here. You can see this little button, I keep doing it by accident here. But once you bring this hip all the way up, you'll see this, this chrome little uh, button right here will pop up. So now the hips are locked into place. You can't bring them down. When you're going into dyno mode, you want to push this button all the way down and that releases that so you can bring it down for transformation. There you go. So it's cool that they incorporated a little locking mechanism there. And of course, this side already did it on its own, but you know, again, you just flip that up, boom, pops right into place. So there you have that. So, second verse, same as the first with the other leg here. Just open this up right here. Take this whole assembly, shift it in, bring that up. And there we go. And then you just collapse this, collapse all that, bring that out to the side, swing it up, like that, bring that tail down, and then all this just sits in there, like that, rotate, push the leg up, ah, that one's a little tighter, and whoops, and everything came undone, and that's my one main gripe about this, and once you do that, Rotate them at the waist, right there, and we're almost done with this guy. For the hands, you want to take these two claws and bring them out to the sides. You want to fold this panel down right here, and you just want to take the hand and bring it out. Close that back up, close that back up, there you go. Second verse, same as the first, so open up his toes, flip that out. Flip out the hand, close it up, close that up, and I think we're done, are we done, yes we're done, hooray we're done, they have Stomp in his robot mode, and that's, that looks like a sludge right there, oh, one more thing you have to do, Boop, pop those back, Boop, pop those back, there you go, there you go, there you have Stomp in his robot mode, hooray, he looks cool. I do quite like him. I think he's very, very nicely done. And I'm getting close here on the head sculpt. Let's raise the camera so you can see his face. And there you go. Nice face sculpt. I've, I've seen people on the message boards complain about his face. Oh, it's not 100% accurate. It needs to be... I think his head looks fine. <laughs> I think it looks fine. 
He has nice chromed eyes in there. He's got the white crest. Nice silver paint on the face. And lots of nice detail here on the robot mode chest. Get a little bit uh, picked out here with some paint right there. You know, some nice molded details here on this transparent piece. Spot for a repro label right there, which is so considerate. And down here on his crotch, you do get some bits picked out in red. Some bits right there picked out in paint. And overall, very nice design. Again, I love how the legs come together and how everything just kind of compresses. It's very, very clever. And I love how the whole, you know, dino head and neck assembly just kind of, you know, tucks away into his back as opposed to just hanging out back here, which is usually the case. I like how it actually, you know, it has a place to go instead of just hanging there. I really, really like that. And um, even the inside of his wings here have a lot of molded detail. Like, like a lot of molded detail. And even some of it's picked out in paint here, some little wires and whatnot. So that looks pretty, pretty cool. So there you have that. Um, articulation wise, let me straighten out the camera a little bit. Articulation wise, the head can do a 360. He can look. Up and down. You can look up, uh, look up a little bit. You can look down pretty far. Um, no side to side movement. It's just a swivel and a hinge, right to there. Um, the arms can do a full 360, but the, the wings kind of get in the way. But you get a nice ratchet there. You do get uh, outward joint right there, which is ratcheted, and you can also use this joint right here if you want some extra movement out of him. So you have that at your disposal. You have a bicep swivel. You do have 90 degrees of bend at the elbow, wrist swivel, the fingers are individually articulated. Um, the thumb is on a ball joint and each finger is on a hinge here and a hinge here. So, nice poseable fingers, uh, ratcheted waist swivel, legs can go forward, they can go back. That ratchet's a little on the squeaky side. You can hear it. Ratchet's a little on the squeaky side there. Um, thigh swivel, you do get outward movements as well. That's just a uh, that's just a friction hinge right there. Swivel, ratcheted knee, um, under 90 degrees of bend there just due to how chunky his calves are. And you do get some ankle tilt right there. It's pretty much all you get out of the feet. There you have that. Now the one thing that bugs me about the transformation is um, how the tail works because the, um, there's nowhere for this to tab in. Not that I have found anyway. Again, like I said, this doesn't come with instructions. Um, well, I mean, you know, test shots don't come with instructions, not mine. <laughs> Let me just put it that way. Test shots don't come with instructions. So, um, you know, I, I don't know if there's supposed to be some locking point for this, but that's the one thing that bugs me is that there's no, there's no tab. There's nothing that just locks this in place. So sometimes when you're messing around with them, you can kind of knock that loose and, uh, you know, it's a little, you know, you kind of shake them around a little bit, that'll kind of fall out. So it, it would be nice if there was just like a nice solid locking point somewhere for this. So that's definitely my, my one gripe with the figure. But there you have that. But yeah, um, he does include accessories. For robot mode, he does have his sword right here, which is very nicely done. Nice red chrome, transclearance red blade right here. It does have the, uh, the light up feature. I don't know how well you can see that, but it does light up with a nice bright LED. So you have that right there. He does come with his gun, which is more the, uh, the cartoon accurate gun with the gold on it. And that does light up as well. So you can sit there and go pew, pew, pew. Pew, 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 pew. You can do that. You can do that all day. If you want. Why not? And he can hold his weapons. And that's the typical uh, masterpiece style weapons with the tab on either side. You can take it, just plug it into his hand. Right there. You do want to make sure that the tab is, you know, towards the back. Right there. Because that's where it lines up. And he just wrap his fingers around it. He can't wrap his thumbs around it because there's no hinge. There's no hinge right here. <laughs> it looks like there is one, but there's no hinge right here. So he can't actually get his thumb around the sword. So he does kind of, you know, kind of like gorilla grip it. But, you know, it's okay. 
Not the end of the world as far as I'm concerned, anyway. I'm sure it's the end of the world for somebody, but not for me. So he just plugged the gun in his hand. Now, now the gun he does hold kind of loosely. You can see it doesn't really peg in solidly. I mean, once you, once you, once you tab it in and get his fingers wrapped around it, I mean, it's fine. He's, you know, his fingers are strong enough that he's he's not going to drop it. But it'd still be nice if that tabbed in a bit more securely. But again, it's a test shot. It could be tweaked for the final. So there you have that. Now he's all armed up. Now he does come with some optional faces. As you can see here, he does have just the you know, kind of just stern closed mouth right there. He does also include this face, which has the mouth uh, a little more... A little bit open right there so you have that option and then you have full-on rage face right there so if you want an angry sludge you can have some angry sludge and you do get optional eyes as well um, the ones that are in his head right now are the chromed eyes so you do get a uh, a set of just you know just flat blue painted eyes if you don't like the chromed eyes so you get that and you also get some red chromed eyes right there. And swapping out the faces is easy. You just pop off his forehead and then you just pull the face out right there. And then you can just pull out the eyes. Pull out the eyes right there. And just to show you the difference here between the chromed and the regular, you know, just flat painted blue eyes. So there you have that. So, you know, you can have him with, you know, what I do with it? No. You can have him with the, uh, you know, rage face here with the, uh, with the red eyes. If you want, rage face with the blue eyes, with the chromed eyes, not chromed eyes. So you have some display options, which is pretty cool. But me personally, I just like the regular, just standard, you know, face with the chromed eyes. Because for me, the chrome dyes just pop a bit more. So that's why I like them. They just, you know, they make them look a bit more alive. In my opinion, anyway. So we just pop that back on. Get your forehead back on. And there you go. But yeah, I dig him. He's pretty cool. Now for comparison. All right, let's see if we can do this one more time. If we can get a group shot going here. Get in slag, we'll get swoop. Uh, let's see, let's get him back here. Get swoop back here. We got slag. We got sludge. We'll get snarl in here somewhere. I don't know how we're going to do this. <laughs> we'll try. We'll, we'll try. Bring in Grimlock here. Grimlock does have the scoria booties on. Make him taller. And there we go. Let's get him out here a little further. Let's see. I think I can pull back far enough here. Let's see. There we go. There we go. Yeah! <laughs> oh, this makes me happy. <laughs> oh, it's so awesome to finally see a complete set of, you know, masterpiece. Dino bots. I, I'm happy. I love it. I love it. There you have that. Oh. Actually, you know what? Let's let's leave this guy in here, and yeah, we'll just bring in. We'll put Prime right here, and we'll put Wheeljack right here too. Just let's get all these guys in the shot. Why not? There you go. That's awesome. <laughs> that is awesome. So there you go. Let's get all these guys out of the way now. Whee! I'm a happy boy. <laughs> I really am. So there we go. Okay, so there you go. There you have Fans Toys uh, Stomp. And um, yeah, again, a very cool figure. Um, as far as I'm concerned, I, I really do like him. The only real gripe I have is just with 
this assembly right here, just not locking in anywhere. I wish there was a tab somewhere for that. That's the only real great, that's the only thing that I would personally change about this figure, is just giving this a locking point somewhere. So that would be a bit more stable. Um, other than that, he's nice, he's solid, He's he has some die cast in him, so he's, he's a heavy boy. Um, but yeah, very well done, you know, like I said many times, to me anyway, it seems like fans' toys is just like, They've just nailed the masterpiece aesthetic. Um, these people know what they're doing. I mean, it's just very, very nicely, nicely done figure, in my personal opinion. But, of course, at the end of the day, my opinion is completely irrelevant. At the end of the day, you are the one that could potentially be spending your money on this figure. So, really, the question is, what do you think of this? Do you think this is a good figure? Do you think this is worth the money? Because, ultimately, the final judgment and the only opinion that really matters is yours. So, take that for what you will. But, um, of course, if you would like a stomp of your own or any of Fans Toys other offerings, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There will be a link in the description down below, so check that out. You can also check out my third-party playlist for any reviews you may have missed, also linked in the description down below, so check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below, and I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Fans Toys Stomp, and this is M Go saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud, palm in your face! Wheeljack, I got word that your Dinobots found a potentially new source of Energon. Yeah, well, uh, we did some trial runs, and, um, I don't think it's gonna work out. Really? Yeah, we, uh, we had Sludge try it. Me Sludge feel good? You feel good? Me Sludge feel good? Mmm! Me Sludge wanna do something? You wanna do something? Let's do something! We do something! We do something! What was that? Um, that was the side effect. Me sludge one tacos! Do you want tacos? Me sludge one tacos! Let's go for tacos! Tacos! Mm, tacos! How long is he gonna be like that? Um, don't know, but he'll work it out of his system eventually. Fajita!